everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nina and today I'm going to be doing my 39 week pregnancy update. I really wanted to do this pregnancy update, one, because I want to remember what I felt like the week before my due date, what it was like being pregnant the first time and my symptoms, and two, because I also really enjoy watching being a first time mom, first time moms talk about their 39 week pregnancy and how, it, how they were feeling in that week and leading up to the pregnancy. So let's get right into it. First thing, um, I'm just gonna get you guys updated on what happened this week. Um, we went to, we had our 39 week checkup by our baby doctor yesterday. And she said that everything is great with the baby. Her head is facing down. They hooked me up to the heart rate monitor for the baby. They do that in Germany starting at 30 weeks. Every time you go to see the doctor, just to monitor the baby's heart rate to see if they can detect anything unusual before the birth so they can be prepared for it. And everything was perfectly fine. The baby's heart rate was around one, the 140s the whole time, so that's great. They took blood samples for a blood analysis just in case if anything were, were to happen at the hospital um, and I would need, they would need to know my blood um, levels then they would already have them and they wouldn't need to poke me and have to play around with that while I'm not doing well so I did that and then yeah so the baby weighs about 3,250 grams which is really exciting because I guess in my other video I'll put it up here if you want to see it that the baby's gonna weigh 3,200 grams when she's born. So I'm really excited to see how much she weighs when she's born. I mean, she could weigh more, she could weigh less. That's totally just a number that they used, that they gave us with a couple of measurements. But I'm definitely excited to see how much she weighs. They didn't check to see how dilated I was. Um, apparently they don't do that in the 39 week checkup. But yeah, I, so I don't really know if I'm dilated or not at all. But I guess my body will just know what to do and everything will be fine. I am also weighing in at 68 kilograms, which is a lot. <laughs> it is um, 18 kilograms more than I weighed when I started. When I started, I weighed 50, 50 kilos. So... But that's normal and you know that'll go away when I start breastfeeding and yeah that's just part of being pregnant but yeah I'm not worried about it at all I feel like that's a good weight and if that's what the baby needed then that's what the baby needed so I feel really good about that yeah my next our next appointment is a day after my due date just to see how everything is and um, after at that point then there we have appointments every two to three days, just so they can monitor everything to make sure everything's okay. So the past week has been pretty crazy. Um, we have been cleaning everything. We have been, I painted some walls. We've thrown away a lot of things. We've cleaned up a lot of things. We've gotten rid of a lot of things that we don't need. I feel like I'm definitely in this um, nesting mode that pregnant women get. I feel great, amazing. I feel like I'm full of energy. I'm, my mood is just amazing. I feel really happy. I feel really thankful. I feel inside of me that this is just supposed to be, this is how it's supposed to be and this is just right. And this is also the right time to have a baby. So, I mean, everything is just really perfect right now. I mean, I'm definitely enjoying the time I have with my husband. 
that just the two of us, the short amount of time we have as two, waiting for the baby. But uh, I'm de we're definitely excited and we're looking so forward to meeting her. But um, yeah, we've definitely been getting ready for her. Um, this, this last week especially, um, it's been really, it's been a lot of cleaning and organizing and just getting ready for the baby for real now. Yeah, but symptoms, um, I don't have any symptoms. I haven't had any symptoms my whole pregnancy. Well, the first month, I think, when I found out I was pregnant, or I'm sorry, before I found out I was pregnant, I had like a week of nausea where my body just didn't feel right. And that's actually what caused me to take a pregnancy test to think like, hmm, this is weird. And then that's the what told me maybe I am pregnant. And so I took a pregnancy test and then I was pregnant. I found out I was pregnant and then the, the nausea went away immediately for some reason. I guess that was my body's way of telling me I'm pregnant. And um, so I've only had a week of nausea um, my whole pregnancy, which is amazing. I'm so thankful for that. And then in the last two or three weeks, I think because I did a weird movement, I've had like these weird on and off pains um, on my left side, right where my rib cage is. Um, and I asked my doctor and she said that that's totally normal. That happens sometimes and there's nothing to worry about. If it was on my right side, it would be worrisome because that would be my liver and that's obviously not good. But there's nothing to worry about and I don't get it all the time. It's not like a constant pain. I've realized that if I do too much, I try to do too much throughout the day and I don't take a break, then it hurts. So I think it definitely has to do with um, something like that. But other than that, I haven't had acid reflux. I haven't had back pains. I've had back pains for like an hour here and there, but like it's gone away. I have never had like, oh man, horrible back pains for like a really long time or at all. Um, just like I said, if I over exhaust myself, then, then obviously, you know, I overdid it. And that's why I get um, a couple like here and there some pains, but nothing that you normally hear from a pregnant woman, which I am so thankful for because it has made my pregnancy so nice, so beautiful, really. I, I, I am so grateful and I hope all of my pregnancies are this easy. It's amazing. My body's not holding water. I don't have any complaints, absolutely none. It's been really amazing. I've been able to sleep great. There hasn't been any nights where I haven't been able to go to sleep immediately when I get into bed. Um, which I'm also really thankful for. I know a lot of pregnant women have trouble sleeping or falling asleep and No, I I think because especially in the last couple of weeks because I've been doing so much I Am able to go to sleep as soon as I get into bed um, I also haven't been taking naps like I was in my second trimester um, I'm not as tired. I feel really energized. I feel like I'm full of energy just ready for this baby to come out. Another thing that I've been feeling this week is some Braxton Hicks contractions. I've definitely been feeling some tightness in my lower abdomen, in my lower belly area. And I thought it was just the baby moving at first, but like a lot. Um, but I've realized now that it's not the baby and I think it's um, contractions, Braxton Hicks contractions, which it's cool, I guess. It's pretty exciting. Um, my doctor or my midwife has said that most first-time moms don't feel that because the belly area and the abdomen and everything is still so tight and firm and it hasn't been stretched um, for childbirth before that you don't really feel that. But I've been listening to my body and I feel like I'm definitely having them. So um, that's just another sign that the baby could be coming soon, which is pretty exciting. 
another thing is I've been really, really thirsty. Like I have been so thirsty. My whole pregnancy, I've been extremely thirsty and I've been drinking more water than ever. But now in these last couple of weeks, in this last week especially, I've been feeling extremely thirsty is that I'm drinking about three to, f three to four liters of water a day, um, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I usually only drink like two liters of water a day, but if my body needs it, then it needs it. And um, I just try to listen to my body no matter what. That's what it's telling me what I need, right? I haven't had any stretch marks. I've been really, really good about rubbing my belly every night with um, stretch mark oil. It's um, this special oil for pregnant women to not get stretch marks. I feel like that has done a lot for my stomach, um, which, and, and it might just be um, a placebo effect in my mind, but um, it, it's working, so why not? And so I'm really happy about that. I wouldn't be disappointed if I were to get a stretch mark. That is totally normal and that is a beautiful thing that represents motherhood to an extent and I feel like it's beautiful. But, you know, um, up until now I still don't have any, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> and that's my 39 week pregnancy update. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.